It is Tuesday, the 14th of December, and this is Love Notes, daily devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Welcome. We continue today to sing with Isaiah as he sings and describes in that song this root that has produced a stem from the seed of David about this coming king who will restore the world to its right place, about this king from the line of David, who we know is Jesus, who will begin the process of reigning over the kingdom of God and bringing about those things that we hope for. The song continues today to describe this king. It says, His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear. So how will he judge? Well, it says, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The mark of this coming king, this Jesus, who we celebrate and who we wait for, is righteousness. In ancient Near Eastern kingdoms, righteousness was ascribed to kings when they made sure that the poor and the widow and the orphan were taken care of. And that's a, a prime part of being the king of Israel, being the king of Judah, being the king of the world, that the marginalized, those who've been pushed aside, those who aren't of any account, are not left behind in the kingdom of God, that they are brought along and they are part of the reign as much as anyone else. You see, we always have to remember that the people of Israel are a slave people, that we were once Gentiles and far off from God, but we've been brought near by the blood of Christ. It is the constant movement of Jesus Christ, our coming King, and the one who has already come, to establish righteousness by including those who are always left out. We can think of all kinds of people in our culture today who are left out. And we can also think of how in our culture we justify that sometimes, saying, well, they, they don't deserve things. They don't work hard enough. They, they haven't put in their time. They haven't paid the right taxes. They haven't come from the right country. They haven't been here long enough. And to all of this, the king of righteousness says, nonsense. These are my children and I bring them close to me. With righteousness, the poor shall be judged, and the meek of the earth shall be lifted up. It's a promise of a coming world where the suffering of those who suffer just because of who they are is taken away. Where the scales are balanced, and those who have don't have too much, and those who have not are compensated and given what they need. The song we've appointed for today says, Heavy clouds that block the moonlight now begin to drift away. Diamond brilliance through the darkness shines the hope of coming day. Christ, the morning star of splendor, gleams within a world grown dim. Heaven's ember fans to fullness. Hearts grow warm to welcome him. You see, when the king of righteousness reigns, the darkness and the clouds begin to fade away, especially for those who sit on the outside of society looking in. Help us to welcome them, Lord. This is our prayer. So let us pray. Most holy God, your rule of righteousness comes in Jesus Christ and we await its coming so that all who seem to be on the margins or left out are brought close and that we are empowered to be the ones who usher them into the center of your kingdom so that all voices may lift themselves in praise to you. We pray this in Jesus' holy name. Amen.